Hello guys, I'm back with another video. This time it's Android KitKat CPU benchmark on the Raspberry Pi 2. For this benchmark, I would be using Geekbench 3. And for comparison, I have two other low budget devices. First up, we have my daily driver, the Motorola Moto E XT1022, powered by the Snapdragon 200 ARM Cortex A7 dual core processor, clocked at 1.2 GHz. It also has 1 GB of RAM and runs Android KitKat. And after that, we now have the Zenfone 4 powered by the Intel Atom Z2520 clocked at 1.2 GHz. It has two cores with hyper threading and two threads, which make up for a total of four virtual cores. It also has 1 GB of RAM and runs Android KitKat. And finally, we have the Raspberry Pi 2, powered by the Broadcom BCM2836 Cortex-A7 A7 quad-core CPU, clocked at just 900 MHz. It also has 1 GB of RAM and is running Android KitKat. Why haven't I used Antutu benchmark, you may ask? Well, that's because Antutu has an inbuilt graphics benchmark and since there is no working implementation for the Raspberry Pi's graphic driver, it simply won't work. So the Raspberry Pi Foundation, if you are listening, maybe it's time. Now as you can see, both the Moto E and the Zenfone outperform the Raspberry Pi in single core operations, well that's mostly because of the low clock speeds. But the Raspberry Pi outperforms the Moto E by a big margin and the Zenfone by a small margin in multi-core benchmarks. This is because of the true quad-core architecture of the Raspberry Pi 2. Well that's it for today, don't forget to like and subscribe, I'll see you next time.